What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make cream stabs that sound like this. And as always, if you want this preset, it'll be in the description below. Now let's open up a new instance of Serum. We're going to turn on oscillators A and B. Oscillator B, we're going to choose this crush wub wavetable and you can mess with the position however you want. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Now I'm going to turn the level down a little bit less than what the level will be on oscillator A. And then I'm also going to activate this noise oscillator, put on one shot mode, and I'm just going to choose ARP circuit for this one. Um, now we could shape our volume envelope, so it's going to be very short decay, um, no attack, and a little bit of release. Okay, now I'm going to make an even shorter pluck envelope, which is going to mess with the level on our noise oscillator. So this one is going to be super short. We can go right about here. Again, I can always mess with it later if I want. So now let's get an MG Low 12 filter going. We're just going to turn the resonance down and the drive up. Oscillators A and B are going to be routed here, but we're going to leave the noise oscillator alone because we want that high end from the white noise. Now I'm just going to route envelope one to our filter cutoff. Shift Alt click. I think right here should be should be good. That sounds pretty good so far. So now we're going to turn the unison up to 16 on both oscillators A and B. So we have a super wide sound and we're actually going to turn the detune up a little bit as well. So right now we have a super huge sound. We just need to add some effects. So to add some extra width, I'm just going to add a little bit of hyper right over here. And I'm also going to add a very small bit of chorus as well. Now let's turn on our multiband compressor, drop the threshold back just a little bit. We could turn the gain up a little bit as well. Now next, I'm just going to add some asim distortion, turn the drive up a good bit, and then drop the mix back just a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to add some external processing, so a good bit of reverb. Actually, it's going to have a ton of reverb, so turn the decay and wet up a lot, dry it back a little bit, and um, if you're using Fruity Reverb, turn the damp up too. If you're not using Fruity Reverb, you can do this with really any other reverb plugin, and then I will add OTT as well. And then lastly, I'm just going to add some EQ to cut out the lows, and um, the highs are going to be you know, a lot on this one too. So I'm just going to drop that back a little bit. And uh, this is what it sounds like right now. All right, and here's what we got, the sound we just made. So yeah, once again, this preset is in the description below if you want to download it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.